the first thing you need to do is to download and open the app. And then I go to register uh, and do username, email and password. And then you will get confirmation email. Once that's done, you log in with your email and password. And here we go. So the main difference between this and earlier versions is that you press status always, but instead of having the uh, tabs along the top, you have these. So you can just go to any of them. You can change your username, avatar or profile picture, uh, email and password under my account. You can also select to just remove the picture. Under privacy and safety, you can do three things. Decide if you want incoming messages to automatically be scanned and removed if they contain explicit content. If so, keep me safe. Personally, I like to live on the edge. You can also decide if you want server members that are not your friends to send you direct messages. If you do, like me, I'm a mod, I must have it on. Then make sure this is ticked, the one on top. And then lastly, you can decide who you want to be able to add you as a friend. If you just want everyone or uh, just your friends to be able to search you up. You and then we move on to the app settings. The first of whom is voice. Input mode. While in voice chat, do you want your microphone to always transmit what it hears? Or do you want to hold a push and hold down a button to talk? I suggest you enable all the advanced features and set the volume to your preferred level. Personally, I like to have it play through my speaker, but you can also make it so that it only plays through the earpiece on your phone. Notifications allow you to change how your phone behaves when you are tagged or get a message. If you are on free roam and do not have unlimited data, you may want to disable pictures from loading within the texts and images tab. Okay. Appearance allows you to decide if you want the screen to be light or dark. If you turn on light, it will look like this. The previous one was dark. I prefer dark. You can also decide if you want it to sync across clients, so when you get on your PC it's the same. While on the PC you also have the option to select between compact and cozy mode. Under behavior, I suggest that you enable store and send text per channel, as this allows you to type multiple messages at once. I'd recommend leaving the other options off. The language settings are self-explanatory. You select what language you want the app to be in. A few options here. And once again, if you want it to be the same on your PC. You might also want to know how to join a server. You press this and then you join a server with an invite link or create a new one. This is how it looks. You just insert the link, press join and you're in the server. In order to add friends, you go here and you can search for them, like I mentioned earlier. You may also go to the server, hold down on their name, press the picture again, and then you press add. You can also do other things here, like block them. And that's it.